Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here. Today we are making some absolutely stonkingly, gorgeously, yummy, fantastically, just really good, that's basically what I'm trying to say, French toast roll-ups. I'm just going to grab the board right here now. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, in fact, in the picture I've just shown you, uh, they're all joined together, but I just have them. I get a little diagonal slot like that. So you've got enough to make like eight little mini ones with four pieces of bread. And I've got a little maple syrup dunking pot. They kind of remind me of churros, but they're so easy to make and you can cram them with any filling you want. A real crowd pleaser. If you want to have a go at making it, hit pause on the video now. Write all of these ings, I haven't said ings for quite a while, ingredients down. This is how you do it. So we'll start off by making our eggy donkey mixture for our bread to go in. So in a bowl, combine together your eggs, your milk, and your vanilla extract, and just whisk it together until it all becomes one. Like the Spice Girls, two become one. This is technically three become one, but you know what I mean. Just put it to one side. Okay, so another thing you need to make and put to one side is your sugar, combining it with your mixed spice. Now you could just use cinnamon, but mixed spice, I kind of like that vibe, all those different flavours there, particularly around that autumnal time which we're in right now. Get it in there, combine it all together, mix it through, just kind of stain it so it's like a light brown colour, and again, put it to one side. It's pretty easy. What we'll do now is prepare our bread. So grab yourself a slice of bread, which is just like that really, a slice of bread. And what you want to do is trim off all of the crust. So you're basically left with crustless bread. I think you can actually buy that from the supermarkets anyway, but just buy a loaf of bread, slice off the crust, then grab a rolling pin and work it down to just completely squish and flatten up your bread. And you'd be surprised how thin it goes. Pretty cool, you could almost sort of wallpaper your house with it, and like put bread on your walls. So now is the time to top our squished up bread. So I've got some cream cheese first of all, spread it all out nearly to most of the edges and then your filling of choice, you want to lay down a strip about an inch in from the edge. So I went for some strawberries on that, so I had a strawberry uh, and cream one which was really cool. But then you can go to town uh, with your filling. So the other ones I had was a chocolate and raspberry one, uh, that's chocolate cream cheese which you can get hold of. I've got an apple toffee and pecan one with a little bit of cream and a peach cream and hazelnut one. And as I say, do whatever you want, in fact let me know down below uh, what you would put in yours. I mean, that's so incredible ideas. You could even do savoury, but I think we should keep it sweet today. Oh yeah, baby. Sweet baby. Oh, just to say, if you want to make like a massive batch of these ahead of time and then freeze them for another day, whether the next day, the next week or whatever, and then bring them back to life, that is perfectly fine. What an awesome idea. But anyhow, uh, when you are ready to cook them, what you want to do is grab your pan, start to melt your butter in there. Meanwhile, grab a roll and dunk it into that egg mixture, get it all nice and coated, and then sit it seam side down first of all, just to seal that up and cook it all the way through. Keep moving it till it's nice and golden brown. Then simply transfer it out of the pan into your sugar, your mixed spice sugar from earlier, get it all nice and coated on there, maybe lift some on there if you don't want to move it too much because it is hot, and then sit it on a board. Do that to all the other ones, and they are looking fantastic. And you can even have a little maple syrup, cheeky little maple syrup dipping pot if you want. Good, good times. Oh my goodness, guys, it's looking sensational, right? And as I say, optional to have them so you can dunk them easier in a maple syrup pot. Uh, hello to Burgundy Babe on Twitter. She was the fastest at replying to the picture. Uh, hello to hashtag 5W49. Is that hashtag the 5 meant to be like some sort of cool S? Uh, it was fastest on Instagram and on uh, Facebook. It was Ayura Blackwings. It says, looks yummy. So uh, cheers, guys, for the love and everyone else on the social media. Follow me on those things if you haven't already. You can see all the pictures and they look really cool, right? Uh, it's only right that I have a little dunk right now in this maple syrup. I'm so excited to, to just get my mouth around this. Really excited. Here we go. That is absolutely sensational. The sugar with the mixed spice gives that real spanky, like autumnal sugary sweetness. And the cream cheese, you know, it's a little bit more savoury, so feel free to sweeten it up if you want. And I actually had the peach and hazelnut one, but with that maple syrup, it just ramps it up to another level. So if you have a go at this, please send me a picture at my Virgin Kitchen. I love to see uh, your creations of whatever I've made. It's so good. And remember, I'm self-taught, so if I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe and comment. Let me know down below what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. See you again. What's that? It's like high-fiving you?